Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready to come and ride along with me for a change? I hope you are. If you are, fasten your seatbelt. Let's come and ride along with me this fine morning. Looks like a beautiful sunshine again. Although it did feel like it was a little windy again this morning, but uh, yeah, that's quite all right. At least we are rolling again, right? We're not going to complain about the weather or about the wind or anything like that for a while, are we? I don't think so. Instead of sitting at home and not making any money or not doing anything, I much rather have a little possible. wind or something, you know? Meters. But yeah, here we are. Turn be, left uh, and then turn left in 160 meters. Getting back on the big road up here. And then we'll get some miles in today, I hope, anyways. Should get a little over 600 miles today if nothing goes wrong. In 100 That's the meters, plan turn left on Trans Canada Highway. Highway we'll 1. We'll see how it goes, but uh, we got 1,021 kilometers to the town where we got to deliver to. Although I still got to find out exactly where they're located at because. Uh, They've given me some kind of range road instead of like an actual address. They've given me a P.O. box, but that don't do me any good. Yeah, I still don't know where they are. I even looked it up on the internet last night. And according to that, that's way off of the town that they're saying that they're located at. So. We are going to have to ring him up today sometime yet. Find out exactly where our boats they are located, Continue right? on this road for 357 kilometers. Alright, RJ. That should probably be Regina. Yes, indeed. That probably would be Regina. But yeah, here we are. Back on the so-called our interstate up here. Not really an interstate, but our big road up here in Manitoba. Engine still sounds good. I don't see any leaks anywhere, so that's fantastic. I'm very happy with the uh, job the German fellow did. Yes, indeed. He, he's always, pretty much always done a good job on my truck. I can't really complain anyways. Yeah, one thing is for sure, my oil leak is fixed, at least now I will no longer have a big spot of oil on the ground when I started up in the morning, especially when it was cold, you know, I was getting a, a big spot of oil on the, on the ground, you know, and I didn't like that, but it was going to cost me a lot of money just to get that fixed, you know, because we had to pull off the radiator and everything to get to it. And now since we had this other problem, we had to pull the radiator off anyway, so we may as well get that fixed and I'm very happy about it, you know. But we did get all of that fixed and take care of, we took care of business as they like to say. So we are done with that. But let's get on down the road and we appreciate you guys tuning in this fine morning. Yes we do. So that's uh, right along with me for the rest of the day. And let's have us some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just entered into Saskatchewan. Yes, indeed. We are just cruising right along over here. Yes, indeed we are. Haven't called the customer yet to see if uh, we can find the address or where they're located, but uh, we will later on today yet. I'm sure we'll make a pit stop somewhere and then we'll give them a call or something like that, but... Look at that, we're going right along here with uh, the train there up on the left-hand side there. Looks like he's cruising about the same speed than what I am. Yes, indeed. 
Well, I guess that Dodge can't go any faster. <laughs> I always joke around about Dodge. I, I'm not a big fan of Dodge. But probably somebody out there is. But not me. I had a bad experience with a Dodge man at the beginning when I came to Canada. I said to myself I would never buy a Dodge again. And I still haven't. But apparently they have gotten somewhat better. But uh, I got a bad taste for it so don't really have the desire to ever buy one again. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and we'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that the Saskatchewan chicken house is open. Yes, indeed. So we're going to go in here and see what they want today. Yes, they are just checking up on everybody. Making sure everybody is legal, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go in and see if they got to say anything to us. Yeah, I haven't seen this scale open in a long time. Wow, they should really fix these potholes that they got right here in the scale road. But maybe they do that on purpose so you don't go too fast through their parking lot. <laughs> In 100 meters, yeah. keep to the left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 1. All right there, RJ. We'll open up our uh, window a little bit and see if they want to tell us anything, right? But yeah. I guess they uh, didn't work last week. Last week when I come, not last week, the week before when I come through here, when we had that DOT blitz, they were not open. So I guess they're open today. Maybe they figured they will be open at a different time than the DOT blitz. That's all right. Well, it looks like they had somebody pulled in. He had to bring in all his paperwork, it looks like. At least a ton of paperwork it looks like he has with him. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Let's see. I don't actually see any lights. I must just talk to you over the speaker. I guess that's the way they work it up here. We got the speaker right over here. Oh well, it says proceed. I guess they don't want to talk to us. That's quite all right with me. I guess then we'll just get out of here. I have just gotten through Swift Current, Saskatchewan, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a beautiful day out here today. That's still a little wind, but nothing crazy like we had last yesterday. But yeah, we're just cruising right along here and having us a blast. That's for sure. It's gotten nice and hot and humid over here though, but other than that, we're just cruising right along here. And we still have four, uh, about four and a half more to go yet today but uh, that's quite all right talk to the customer and uh, they are saying I can come in tonight and he'll even unload me tonight yet that's what he's saying so we'll see if that's actually gonna happen or not Looks like right now that we will be getting there around quarter after 8, maybe 8.30. That's Alberta time. So yeah. That's alright. If he will unload me today, then I can make my way towards Calgary. I don't know how far I can get, but uh, we'll make our way towards Calgary anyways and see what happens. I already got a message from dispatch here just shortly saying that uh, 
They want me to just drop this trailer at our second customer in Calgary. So it looks like that I might not be going to British Columbia. That would suck. I really had my hopes on going there and now oh, they're changing it on me, but oh well, you never know. Maybe they will change it for something better or maybe they will still give me a load to BC. You never know. I guess we'll just find out tomorrow. But we'll see if the scale is going to be open up here. This scale up here by Swift Current is open quite regularly so uh, we'll see if they're open today or not we're just about to get to it let's see we don't see no flashing lights yet but it's a little far away too to see that so I guess we'll find out here in a minute or two yes indeed doesn't look like that they are but no matter what we'll get to it right we are now in Madison hat ladies and gentlemen yes indeed we're making good time I think although we still have 192 kilometers to go that doesn't matter we should get there tonight I would think so we got almost 6 o'clock right now, about 10 minutes to 6. That is Alberta time. So about 2, 2 and a quarter hours we should be down there, so... Yeah! Let's see if we will get unloaded today yet or not, but... Truck is still performing really well. Still very happy with the truck. Yes, yeah, indeed I am. Temperature is fairly hot over here, like 27, 28 degrees, but hey, we're still making it. Still cruising right along here. Having us a fantastic day, that's for sure. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, like I am. We got the airport up here to the left. Madison Hat it is, yes indeed. Yeah, we're basically off the main highway now. Now we will be driving mostly back roads here, so. So yeah, we'll be seeing some different stuff, that's for sure. I'm very good, thanks. How about you yourself? Do you have your driver's license, insurance, registration? Yes, sir, I do. I have a complaint about your driving. Really? Yeah. Did you pass on a double solid? Another semi? Green no. And green? No, I did not, sir. No? Well, he's coming up right here right now, so... I mean, I do have a dash cam. You can watch it if you want. I'd like to. Yeah. We might have to. Yeah. Was there another truck that you were traveling with that may have done it? That you... No, the only... The only one that I can remember seeing was a, a white pickup truck uh -huh. and uh, I was coming up behind him yeah. and then he moved on to the shoulder right. and, and there was a double yellow line so I sort of moved into uh, double the... Double solid? Yeah. Okay. Th that's the only one that I can remember seeing, yes sir. Yeah. And this... And then and, and the, you know, he was... I mean he was giving me the, the you know, basically the right away. I mean, I wasn't going to pass him, but he pulled over to the shoulder. Okay. I'll need your driver's license, your insurance, and your registrations in here. Yes, sir. So why don't we come talk to this other driver here? Oh, sure. Because let's just make sure we're dealing with the same incident. Yeah. Yeah, because... because uh, he, he thought that you were trying to force him off the road. No. Okay. I would never be doing that, sir. Okay. <laughs> no, sir. And uh, I will be recording this conversation. Oh, sure. That's fine with me. Okay, come on down here. I'm recording it as well. All right. Okay, just so you know. We're going to meet in front of my truck there and we'll be all recorded here. Not the right guy. Not, Not the, right the right guy? guy? No, this guy here is good. Oh. That's the guy that passed him. See, I got no license yeah. number. I got well, no, I, I said I got Ontario no plate. Yeah, well, Ontario. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't you. I don't know. Yeah. So it's not him at all? It's not him. It okay. was the guy that passed you just past Bow Island. Okay. He was behind you. 
I'm yeah, never gonna cast yeah, that guy. Yeah, you Because I mean, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, as you can see, and yep. I'm, I'm a very yep. professional yeah, man. Yeah, no, I never. I said <laughs> it was Ontario plates. So I said it wasn't the better drive. I asked him what yeah. happened. He said, "Well, the two of you can discuss it." Or yeah. Whatever. yeah, yeah, no, it, it was. But if it we don't have the plate, right? Yeah, we don't I, I know it makes it harder, but I had to dodge off to the yeah. ditch. No, no, I understand yeah. completely. Okay, so this isn't the guy. You're free to go. All right, I like okay. my license back. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Sorry about that, hey, sir. That's no problem. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Alrighty, guys. I got me a little scared there for a little bit, but uh, as you guys saw, the uh, guy behind me there, he had made a complaint saying that somebody had just about ran him off the road there and. Uh, and so uh, the cops were searching for that individual and they thought for a second that it was me. So they pulled me over. But the guy was nice enough behind uh, to stop behind the cop there and he right away said, no, 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 this is not the guy. So, uh, so yeah, we got the whole spiel on video there. and Yeah. That, <laughs> That shook me up for a little bit there, but <laughs> wow, I never really been pulled over too much by cops, you know, by regular cops out here, so especially up here in the middle of nowhere, you know, <laughs> some kind of action going on, that's for sure, hey, that happens sometimes, you know, that's the way it is, but yeah, anyways, we got about another hour and 15 minutes to our delivery and then uh, <laughs> we'll see we get our load off today but yeah I'm all shooken up now <laughs> I'm like what the heck did he pull me over for you know but yeah I mean that's <laughs> sometimes you get accused of something that you didn't do but luckily it turned out for the good you know we were not at fault so Good thing that was happening. I told the cop, you know, I do have a dash cam so he can watch that, you know. All right, guys, we are going downhill into a valley and it looks like there is a nice big lake up here. I don't remember ever driving on this 36 on this stretch of the highway before, so uh, this is totally new for me. Yes, indeed it is. Looks like they got all kinds of warning of driving off the bridge and all that good stuff here, but lots of people tried to fish up here, it looks like. But yeah, beautiful scenery, that's for sure. Wow, yeah, nice little lake that they got up here, that's for sure. Put the hammer down and try and make it up to the hill on the other side, right? That's the plan anyways, but Saskatchewan, Alberta, they got all kinds of valleys all the time, so uh, something like this is to be expected in the middle of nowhere somewhere, but hey, I just happened to see it on time and I figured, yeah, I'd turn on my camera and capture the be beautiful scenery for you guys. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. We got us about another half an hour and we will be at our delivery place. So that's fantastic news. All right, guys, we are done for today. Actually, it's the next morning already, but uh, I got quite tired last night when I got here, so I just pretty much went straight to bed. But uh, yeah, we're here at the Fly and Hook at this town right here, Natone, Alberta, whatever they call it. We got a little bit of a flying J down here, so. Uh, yeah, we spent the night over here and now it's in the morning getting ready to roll out of here. So uh, appreciate you guys watching today's video and stick around for tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow morning. So have a good one. We'll catch you here right here on Trucker Rudy. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come, I'm breaking the wall.